Nine on your side investigates is following updates now on a vicious stray dog issue in Kinston since we first brought you that story back in February. Now one Kinston councilman is calling on his colleagues to develop a plan to control the strays once and for all. Now your side reporter Abigail Velez joins us from the newsroom now. You spoke with city officials on the next step. So what updates do you have for us this afternoon? Well, Ken, in the last night's Kinston City Council work session, Councilman Chris Sugg says he wants the city to develop a committee to address the nuisance dogs. He acknowledges the steps by the city have already been taken, but he believes that more needs to be done. Kinston is hoping to get one step closer to controlling the vicious strays issue in the city. So my uh, request to the council is that you know, as a way to further examine this issue, research and develop some solutions to our animal control issues, particularly around vicious stray and nuisance um, dogs. After Nine on Your Side reported on the strays terrorizing one neighborhood in Kinston, city leaders are taking action to ensure the control of the dogs that we develop some, t some form of working group or committee to really take a look at our existing ordinances, um, any potential other ordinances we'd like to implement. Kinston resident Chris Patterson says he was just recently attacked by the mother of the pack. And then, uh, and then she just charged full on at me and I hit her with a stick and ran in the house. Uh, I, I, w I walk uh, through here sometimes. Uh, and even when I ride my bike, um, they chase me and attack me. This is now my third incident with these dogs. Residents like Patterson say they have been harassed by the strays for far too long. Question is, when will the strays committee be established and take effect in the city? Well, Mayor Don Hardy says it's in the works, but there isn't an established timeline. So the controlling piece of the dogs is definitely is you know there's no time frame on that however it's it's what we can put together you know um it's going to be impactful how long that's going to take as far as you know make sure the right folks are on the committee uh, who's needed is hopefully we can get that down here very swiftly i think a lot of uh what, what we're facing is when you're trying to capture animals you know uh, sometimes they're, they're smart and they know not to get in the cage you know, uh the, the real issue is we have a lot of animals in the city I'm told the Strays Task Force will include city and county officials as well as, well as agencies. Councilman Sugg says he hopes Kinston residents will apply to join the task force. For more information on how to do that, visit our website at WNCT.com. Live in the newsroom, Abigail Velez 9 on your side. Abigail